because wrongly st stated that Top Esports were looking for their AD, but they were only looking for their support. And the Rakan is going to be coming through. So, Tom Kench, available. They don't want to take it. They wanted something a bit more aggressive, excuse me. This game, the Bless is started up the Rift Herald. Well, Shie lies in wait on Takasa. There's the ultimate from Bless straight away. Knight gets ignited, trying to walk his way out. But even with the blue buff, he doesn't have enough mana. A great flash from Shie. An auto attack to secure. First blood again for DMO's mid laner. He won't find Castle, but will Chocho find him? That's the real one. And that's a return kill for top esports. They knew something Knight. we've said before. We've seen it on Camille's, we've seen it on these Kari champions. In the mid lane. And she has caught out flag and drag. That's easily done. Trying to play the mind games with Knight and Casa, but Cho Cho adds an element he can't foresee. Cho Cho's Irelia been doing has a great been job. Dominating through the lane. We'll see finally if DMO can use his top laner to do something. 369 with the TP in towards the back end of the pit. This sets up top in a Jojo weird way. Flash as well. Gets it engaged. Shie goes in. Ignite onto the mid laner. Knight is still alive for now. Rather, it's Fotic there. They take the 1v1. As, look, the dragon does go to DMO. But they lose two members because of it. With 369 teleporting Only into the back. Well, Castle does the scuttle crab. Sets up vision around this area once again. 10 seconds and that dragon. we ready to fight. Picking up the Scuttle is very crucial for the likes of Fotic in this fight. He'll be able to utilize that to help him backing away from some of the damage dealers on DMO. However, though, with weather position right now, the river isn't even a focus. It's just this mid lane. Good Glacial Prison here, but the ult comes out from Fotic as well. He's DPSing in the back line, and 369 gets the AoE. As Caster jumps into his death, the rest of Top Esports have already taken the fight. Fotic is playing well again, and Chocho's right next to him. And this is what we see from Dominus all the time. Where they... by DMO, because this game he has succeeded. And now Natural, he was winning this 1v1. 369 with Grasp of the Undying. He's taking it. He's in World Ender, and it's unfair, because Knight makes it a 2v1. Last five is working really well alongside Top. I feel like I've seen this fight before, though, Hysterics. Yeah, and you know what? Fotic untouched once again. The ultimate misses. Fotic gets a bit of damage from the True Shot Barrage. It happened just like this last time. 369 gets the first kill. Natural has to go gold. Nishie jumps in onto Fotic, but can't kill him. He even dies as he tries to get the last distortion off. 369 is still in heaven. And now Natural is as well. Gala will arcane shift away. And this is just all gone wrong. Low health bars, but five members still strong as ever. The D top. DMO keep trying to play these fights like a front-to-back composition, but they're playing against a uh, composition that has a far better front-to-back. Fotic is huge in the back line. We're blessed with him on the Sejuani ultimate. Top Esports will solidify themselves a 4k gold lead and now have picked up the power. It just looks so easy for Top Esports to play these oh, yeah, fights. That's the threat. He doesn't have it available. He gets scattered the week once again by night. And the poke from Fotic follows through. Three item virus now pushing up and into Gala. Bit of damage, but the on hit is so much worse. So they can't ruin what is going to be their last stand at this point. The MO have to back away. And Top Esports are just getting free damage off. Three members of Top Esports in the bottom lane. Karis is really into this base. There's nothing that DMO are doing. They're slowly but surely losing the game. Top Esports get two inhibitors. Now they're going to walk up to get this last outer tier two and begin work on this inhibitor turret as well. DMO are being bled out and they don't even look like they care. 369 teleported in as well. All five members here. Knight, bit low on mana, but will he even use it up? Gala is trying with all of his might. The stable rock of DMO getting shoved out with the rest of them. This wave is just doing it itself. Look at the super minion slowly channeling in. DMO say it's time to fight. Two ultis lay it onto Casa. This year tries to get the back line, but Fotic lives once again. Two man knock up here from Casa. He cataclysms onto the third, and Bless is just going to die off the side of the fight. I don't know how Knight got there, but he has a cloud soul. He flew in, he flew out, and DMO can get a trade, but that's all it is. Last inhibitor goes down, and now you've got... He's got a spellbinder. He's got 33 stacks to his name. Top Esports now. They want to end this one. And they deserve to. DMO against their Nexus turrets. Look at the minions coming through. How do you survive this onslaught? Mark finally ulties. It's the last stand, but already the AoE comes through. Vanguard's Edge off the side. Natural tries to get in, but Fotic has his way. Into GA, while the Sejuani dies in front of their eyes, and Casa 
takes a quick look at Xie and Gala, while Natural gets outskilled, outclassed, outplayed by Knight's Ultimate. And that's all she wrote. Top B Sports with a clean spanking of DMO 2 0 to start their week off. Top Esports have outdone DMO in this series, and it kind of just looked like. Wake to my.